Uh, welcome back to Everyday Race. This is going to be uh, part one of Let's Make More Power in a Ford Ranger. I'll be using this 95 extended cab Ford Ranger with the camper shell on it, equipped with a 2.3 liter uh, inline four cylinder and a five speed manual transmission. It also has a 373 gear ratio and 215 75 14 tires. Now, the main goal for this part one video is going to be to collect data, meaning how much power this truck has and what the miles per gallon are. For that, I'm going to be using a torque app. So, so far, I've collected data for 1,052 uncorrected miles and the truck has been getting actually pretty good gas mileage. Uncorrected 28.8 miles to the gallon. Now since the tires are smaller than stock, the speedo is off by 2 miles an hour at, four, uh, at 40 miles an hour. That means that correction is going to be 5%. So that equals to roughly 27.1% miles per gallon and that's US gallon so the reason for me doing this is because this engine has a lot of miles and it does not have a lot of power and uh, the 25 liter will bolt up to the transmission will work with the stock ECU and it's pretty much plug-and-play besides a few things which I will discuss in Probably part two or part three. So uh, another thing about this truck is uh, it's pretty heavy. It's roughly 3,900 pounds with me in it. Uh, half a tank of gas and my jack and my tools in the, in the bed of the truck. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the data. Anyways. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to measure 40 to 60 times on my little circle track. Here we go. I'm going to use this app. Uh, we have intake temperature, uh, revs 40 to 60, uh, trip MPG, uh, instant MPG speed, and throttle position. So basically when the that way I can... I, along with you, can see exactly uh, how quickly the truck gets from 40 to 60 miles an hour. Now, the place where I do the acceleration, it's kind of going up the hill, so the times are going to be a little bit longer than in a straight line. But since I'm going to be testing both the engines, it really doesn't matter. The only thing I'm trying to do is collect the data at the same uh, uh at the same place at the same you know trying to be as consistent as possible so if the 2.5 makes uh, more power then you know the times are going to be it's going to be a lot quicker to go from 40 to 60 miles an hour than uh, you know than what I have right now so anyways uh, enough talking because uh, they said 20% chance of rain and uh, for the last five days that meant every time I get on my track it it just starts pouring rain so <laughs> i might edit the video and i'll i'll show you exactly what happened but let's let's get going it's a it's a hot day and uh let's get some data all right so uh we're coming up to the test track and uh, the goal is to be in third gear and punch it from 35, roughly 35 miles per hour, right by the drain cover. Now the trick is to slow down to let out the traffic by you. And uh, there we're coming up right to that nice, uh, it's like a runabout. Anyways, hopefully this Lexus will stay out of the way. Usually with this truck, everybody accelerates much higher rate. So there we go. Everybody's raking. 
I got a bunch of people behind me. Perfect time. So let's get to 35 miles an hour or around it. And the drain cover is coming up. There it is. And go. I was wide open throttle, but people going around me. And it took 11.4 seconds, which is uh, what I've been getting. But let's do uh, uh, two more trials, two more uh, time lapse, and see exactly uh, what happens. If it goes up, if it goes down. The temperature is average about 93 degrees Fahrenheit. That's going in the engine. It's not great, but I can't really change that. So. Alright, test run number two. Right and ready, set, go. All right, eleven point seven. Let's go for one last circle and get uh, and then I'll just average the acceleration times uh, let's make the circle around the block uh, test run number three will it speed up or will it slow down but the stoplight is working like a charm every time I get here it turns red it's like is built perfectly to slow everybody down. It was one car waiting and three cars going. Alright. Enough complaining about the stoplights. Let's get to 35 miles an hour. Go. Hi, eleven point seven. So today the truck was actually pretty consistent and uh, it was 11.3, 11.7, so it's roughly around 11.6, 11. I'll calculate the average uh, when I get home because I don't feel like using a calculator while driving. <laughs> so. Uh, that's going to be enough data 
just three runs and uh, I can finally take this engine and yank it out and take it apart and see uh, exactly why it was such a pooch so I'll take the bearings uh, measure the ring gaps uh, we'll see if there is any damage on the pistons we'll see if there's any cracks on the uh, on the on the cylinder head which is a uh, fairly common on the two threes see if the pistons are all in one piece because I've, I've, I've taken the two three apart once before and uh, one of the one of the pistons were in two pieces when I came out you know I pulled it in one piece and then it fell apart so uh, but that engine had a lot of a lot of blow by this one has just a small amount of blow by all right wide open throttle let's get let's get 10 miles an hour there we go so uh, all right that's gonna be it for today